Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today I am in paradise. One of my favorite resorts in the entire world, the beautiful beaches, Turks, and Caicos. This place is truly incredible. You can see behind me the incredible turquoise water, beautiful white sandy beach, and this particular resort has it all. You have an amazing dive shop just next to me. You have 21 dining venues, five different villages, the pools, of course, all of the people are what make it incredibly special as well. Our customers come back here year after year, and I can't wait to show you why. So now we're gonna head into the Italian village, and as with all of them, this is where they're gonna come. They're gonna circle around, drop you off right there. You can start your vacation. But first things first, we're gonna check out this incredible pool. Follow me. Set in the massive courtyard of the Italian village, you're gonna find this absolutely stunning pool. It is huge. You've got a small pool for kids. You have another wading pool just behind me for, for kids as well. But what I love about this is being that it's so long all the way down to the tower, you could do laps if you want. Of course, it's a great place to spread out. They also have the beach style pool, so it slowly, gradually goes in, especially if you're traveling with kids, that's a great fit. And then they have the narrow shelves all the way around. Now set all the way around this beautiful pool, you're gonna find restaurants behind, and then you have the umbrellas and loungers. There's quite a few of them. And you're also gonna have the cabanas as well. This pool complex itself is the perfect multi-generational family experience. You've got the shallow entrance, you've got the wading pools for the kids, as I mentioned. But what I love so much about it is that it's set right around the huge Italian village complex itself. Each one has its own personality. Of course, each and every one of the villages has its own pools. And you also have the massive water park as well. So really, as you come to the resort, you can kind of feel it out and figure out which one is perfect for you and your family. What do you think, Flipper? <laughs> no, I agree, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'll see you at the water park later. At every single one of the pools, you're gonna find these. This is where you're gonna find your fresh towels just underneath there. And then of course you can put the dirty towels right there. Never have to worry about that. And also around every single one of the pools and coming up from the beach as well, you're gonna have these showers. It's perfect. Of course, you wanna shower before you get in the pool and when you get out or if you're using the beach. This is truly a massive pool. I feel like I've been walking for about 10 minutes just to go around it. And that's really the theme of the entire resort. There is something for everybody and there is a ton of things for every single member of the family. Located on the beach side of the Italian village pool, you'll find the tower and of course the swim up bar. Every great all-inclusive resort has to have an amazing swim up bar. And this is a huge one. It wraps around on three sides and they even have these great tables in the pool themselves where you've got a bench seat, an umbrella, you can sit and enjoy your cocktail there as well. Now on the other side of the tower, you're gonna have a walk-up bar, and it's just across from the Barefoot by the Sea restaurant. Located all around the pool, you're gonna find these beautiful butler cabanas. What I love about this is if you choose to upgrade to a butler level suite here on the property, you're gonna get everything that they offer, including these beautiful cabanas. We've got some that are set up for birthdays and they really go all out. The butler experience here is truly unique and it is over the top incredible. If you wanna see those rooms and suites, make sure that you check out our full room and suite tours on the channel as well. Sit just next to the pool of the Italian village, you have Kelly's Bar. This is a great spot during the day and in the evening as well. I've spent a bit of time here and well, she knows. Miami Vice, a little uh, throwback to the, the cruise ship fun and everything else, let's see. Mm. Mm, yeah, anyway, absolutely delicious. Once again, all inclusive, all included. Great place to grab a drink if you're going before or after dinner. You also have these wonderful seats on the outside as well, even big enough for me. So for those of you who absolutely love the beach, you have Barefoot by the Sea. This is a seafood restaurant, but it's also a mix of Caribbean food and some classics as well, like surf and turf, things along those lines. And of course, they have a full kids menu. This is used for breakfast sometimes and then lunch and dinner just about every single day. And what's so unique about this particular space is that you can put your toes in the sand. So the, the restaurant, the entire space, they've got these great little tables for kids. I know my daughter and niece and nephew would absolutely love to have their own table like that. And then you also have the picnic bench style seating all throughout. And then down by the beach, you have the ones with umbrellas as well to get the shade in addition to the beautiful palapas. Like the other restaurants on site, you also have that open kitchen concept. So you get the smells that add so much to that experience. But if you love to dine with your toes in the sand, looking out in the distance at the beach, this is that perfect restaurant for you. So now we're headed down to the beach and this is what this resort is about, period, end of conversation. 
consistently rated one of, if not the best beaches in the entire world. From here, you can see exactly why. It's a huge stretch of beach that this resort occupies, and you can continue to walk in both directions quite a distance. The water is beautiful, it's turquoise. In fact, it's about 50 different colors of blue. It's nice and warm and relaxing. Perfect for every member of the family if you wanna go in and just wait a little bit. You don't have big waves here, of course. You've got a natural break out there and you can kind of see where the water goes from the turquoise to a little bit darker blue further out. But this resort is perfect for so many different kinds of water sports because of that. And of course, we'll get to all of those in just a few minutes. So on the beach itself, you have all kinds of different seating options. You've got these loungers with the umbrellas. Of course, you can throw a towel down and set up right on the beach if you enjoy that. You also have these great little day beds that have canopies that go up. And what I like about that is if you want the shade, you can put them up. If not, you can put them down and change it throughout the day. Beaches has more inclusions than any other all-inclusive resort in the Caribbean. And you can see behind me some of the things that are included. You've got those stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, you've got windsurfing, Hobie cats, you can take a sailboat out, water trikes, and keep in mind they'll even do certification and training with you. Now I'm just behind the Paddy Dive Center. Now if you are certified already and you're an experienced diver, all you have to do is show your certification. You can go take advantage of all the incredible dive spots throughout this amazing island chain and you don't have to pay anything else. That's such an amazing inclusion here. They include your tanks, your regulators, all of your gear that you would need. Now, if you are not, and you're interested in getting certified here on the resort, they even have a full training center. You can see the pool down here behind me. They've got the classroom right around the corner. Now that does cost a little bit extra, but keep in mind, you're gonna be able to have that for the rest of your life. Now, once again, Beaches has every member of the family covered. They've got their Bubbles programs for the smaller kids and a really cool program that I think is absolutely awesome. If you've ever wondered what it's like to dive at night, after you do a pass a few tests here in the pool, in the evening, they're gonna take the kids back to the Lazy River with flashlights at night, and you get to learn all about night diving. As you can see, it's an amazing value here to dive at beaches, and we put a lot of groups together. People absolutely love coming down here, taking advantage of all the incredible spots throughout the island, the services here, and then you come back to an amazing all-inclusive resort. Some other fantastic inclusions, especially for families, is snorkeling and glass bottom boat trips. All you gotta do is sign up and they're gonna take you right out to the end of the pier, you head right off and get to enjoy it right away. In addition, they also have snuba here. It is an additional cost, but it's one of my favorite activities with the family. Hey look, I found my world. No, I'm just kidding. I wanted to point out all of the certifications that they have here. Sandals take safety very, very seriously. Make sure that you always follow directions and have an amazing time. So if you happen to be staying in the Italian village, this is the main lobby area. It's where you're gonna check in. You'll come through the double doors, you'll head on over, they'll, they'll get you set there. Of course, you can sit down, they'll bring the iPad to you as well. And I love the service. You start with a nice cold towel, they'll bring you a drink, because well, what better way to start your all-inclusive vacation than a nice rum punch, or without if you prefer. You can see in here they have absolutely beautiful furniture. It's the theme throughout the entire Italian village. This is the newest part of the resort, and they did an impeccable job both building and designing it. So being one of the top family resorts in the entire world, I love that they've dedicated so many spaces to kids. I know my daughter, niece, and nephew, they absolutely love it when they have things that are designed for them. So you can see here, even from check-in, they've got a TV, usually there's cartoons on there. They've got a small table where they can color. And then of course they have these little tiny chairs. I don't think I, huh? maybe I can fit in those. Oh, may never get back up again. But anyway, this, this is perfect for kids. And I love that they focus so much attention. We all know if every member of the family is having a great time, everybody's gonna enjoy it. So now we're inside Mario's, which is a multi-use restaurant. So it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, they always have this huge setup here. So you've got different kinds of fruits, meats, cheeses, yogurts, all of that. In the far side, you have all of the pastries. And then continuing along, you're gonna have all of the made to order. So you can have your omelet station and waffles, things along those lines. But what's great about this particular restaurant is they use it throughout the day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they have a combination of made to order. So you can order from the table. It's an Italian, Tuscan style themed restaurant. So you can order from there. And then also even in the evening, they have a buffet set up as well. So you can grab as you like or have a combination of the two dining experiences. Now this is the largest restaurant here on site and it's right in the middle of the property. The Italian village is right in the heart of it and it's also set with the water park just behind it and then the huge pool just in front. So that perfect location for just about everybody on the resort. 
So inside the space itself, they have a wide variety of seating. You've got booths, you've got two tops, four tops. What I love is they can even put together large banquet style seating if you have a large family group, wedding, something like that, where they can put 20, 30, or even more. In addition, you have some great outdoor seating in front that looks over the pool area, a great place to sit, especially for dinner in the evening. And they also even have a little bit of outdoor space as well, back behind near Dino's. It's always good to see my twin. Yeah, there we go. So now we're headed into the kids area. And of course, the relationship that they have with Sesame Street goes throughout. This space is used for the kids club to come in and dine. They also use it for all kinds of different activities like the Sesame Street meals. You can also, well, there's my guy up there. You can make cookies with Cookie Monster. Yeah, you can have an incredible time here. Or when you're dining, of course, the kids can come over as well. And I know that my daughter absolutely loves having her own space of course with her cousins as well, but you see they have coloring set up, it's all ready to go. They do family incredibly well, and when the kids are incredibly happy, you know everybody else will be as well. So now we're just inside one of my favorite spaces on the entire resort, that is the Cricketers Pub. It's very similar to some of the venues you'll find at the other resorts by Sandals and Beaches, but what I love about this is it fits multiple purposes. So as you can see, it's set up as a traditional English pub. Of course, they'll have the full bar set up shortly here in just a few minutes, but you also have a large menu. Of course, you can think of wings, other pub fare, you know, fish and chips, things along those lines, but they have a good mix and balance. And what I like about it, it's a very casual place to eat. It's perfect actually even for every member of the family. They have a billiards room off the side and they also have some great outdoor seating. But usually in here, you've got some sports on the TVs, you've got some music playing. It's a really, really nice venue and it's throughout the entire day and into the evening. Set just on the side of the Cricketers Pub, you have the billiards room. And what's unique about this, of course the island itself has a lot of British heritage, but you've got traditional pool, and then you also have snooker as well. Let's see. All right. Mm, yeah, that's pretty standard. Throughout this entire space, they have some beautiful different kinds of memorabilia. They've got traditional, and then of course, different sports memorabilia as well. You've got the television, and then continuing along, you have a bar set up here, one over there, and this is actually a pass-through to the bar, so you can order directly from there, and they're gonna deliver it right here. So now we're at Dino's, which is a beautiful outdoor venue. It's a lunch only venue, but it usually goes till about five o'clock. This is where you're gonna find some classic Italian options. Right back there, you've got your brick oven pizza, one of my all time favorites. You have this great little takeout stand as well. So you can sit, we'll get over there in just a second, but I love that you can order and then just come and grab for takeout because where you're located, you have kids and family activities all around. But further back, you've got the full open kitchen. And as we continue along, you can see they've got a variety of seating. You've got the two tops, four tops, and of course they can put it together for larger family groups. But this is a very, very casual option. Think some great antipasti. You also have some pastas, sandwiches, uh, paninis, of course, and then that pizza. But their signature, which was really, really good, is the spaghetti, or sorry, lasagna bolognese. Some spaghetti too. I've been eating all kinds of Italian food. But this is another one of the Italian options here on site. It's such a classic option that usually every single member of the family can find something that they like. What I love about the location of this is you've got the water park just to the side, and of course there is Bobby D's to dine in the water park itself, but you've got this right here, which is a perfect meeting spot for families. Maybe they take a break from the water park, come and eat, and then you can run back in. And then just behind me is Mario's, which is also a buffet and sit down option. So you have a ton of Italian choices right here. Sit just behind the Italian village, you're gonna find all kinds of shopping options. Now, of course, at this place, you can come and spend nothing and have an amazing time with all of the inclusions. But if you wanna get some jewelry, different kinds of shopping, clothes, of course, any items that you may have forgotten, you can take advantage of the duty-free shopping here. There's tons of shopping throughout the entire area. Once again, if you enjoy that, that's perfect. If not, you can walk right past. Once again, being a family resort, they even have the retail shops for the kids. Here you'll find confetti. They have a partnership with Build-A-Bear Workshop. My daughter and I just did one for her birthday. I know that they would absolutely love it. It's also a candy shop in there and just some fun things for kids tying into the partnership with Sesame Street as well. Just behind me, you're gonna find one of several loyalty and travel booking centers. A lot of our customers who are having an amazing time here on the resort wanna rebook to come back here, maybe an adults only vacation at Sandals or one of the other beaches resorts as well. You book here, as soon as you get back, you let us know and we'll take care of all the details from there. 
Few resort companies do weddings like Sandals and Beaches. They've done it for years and they do an amazing job at that. They know exactly what it is that you want. You can see here, you've got different kinds of setups to choose from here on site. But of course, as soon as you start booking with us, we're gonna handle all of your travel plans. We'll put you in contact with the wedding coordinator and we'll go back and forth to make sure that it's exactly what you want. Now you can see here behind me, they have different kinds of options. Really the sky's the limit here. If you want it for your wedding, they can handle it. Now we're inside the wedding lounge in the Italian village. There's a couple of them here on site because weddings are so incredibly popular. As soon as you get here for your wedding, you're gonna come in, sit down with the wedding coordinator once again, make sure that all the plans are set, and then you're gonna sit back and enjoy paradise and start your marriage in style. Set on the second floor just behind the Italian village, you're gonna find the nightclub. The whole thing about beaches is that they want to make sure that every single member of the family has taken care of. And we've seen a ton of different kids options, fun for every member of the family. This is where the adults can have fun every single night. We get a lot of groups that we book here, multi-generational wedding parties, and it's so nice to have a space like this. So you can see they have all kinds of different lounge seating, solo chairs, couches, loungers as well. They've got the big TV screens over in the distance. And then of course, you've got the full bar set up in here and being all inclusive, that's gonna be included for you. So now I'm down here on the dance floor. Taylor's up in the DJ booth right now. Spinning it, maybe, maybe, maybe not. No, every single night they're gonna have a DJ here absolutely rocking. And I love that they have all the high-end audio visual that you need. They've got the lasers, the intelligent lights up there. It really gets rocking here in the evening. And a really unique feature as well is on both sides of the dance floor, they have these large glass panels. You can actually see down into the lazy river from here. And a really cool feature up here as well is that there's an outdoor seating as well with some different seats. You got some day beds, tables, and chairs. So maybe you wanna take a drink, take it outside and have a little break from the music get charged up and come back and dominate that dance floor. Set just between the Italian village and the French village, you're gonna find one of the best features of this entire resort, the incredible Pirates Island water park. Arr, matey, how's it going? Well, you're gonna absolutely love this place and it's one of the reasons why so many families choose this particular resort. Of course, in addition to the incredible beach and everything else they have, I can't wait to show you, follow me in. So every pirate needs an incredible pirate ship. You see right behind me here, we have the Jolly Roger. Just inside is Bobby D's restaurant, which is perfectly located right here in the water park. What I really appreciate about this water park is there is something for every age group, member of the family, including mom and dad. You've got smaller water slides, splash pads, a large water slide, surf simulator, and one of my all time favorites, a lazy river. I absolutely love to cruise around, check on the kids from time to time. We're gonna have an absolute blast here. Let me show you the entire space. First up, right next to the pirate ship, you're gonna have two slides. These are generally for the smaller kids, but of course, as you can see, that is a pretty fun and fast slide. You're also gonna have the wraparound yellow water slide there that gives you an extra whirl. And I really like that they have the hot tub. It's almost like those Olympic diving competitions, right? You finish up, you get out, hop in the hot tub for a little bit, and then on to the next feature. This is another view of the blue and yellow water slides. Once again, they're great for the young and of course, well, the young at heart. I always love a water slide and I've had a lot of fun with my family. And what I also appreciate about this particular space right here is you've got the bridge that comes over from the pirate ship. And on the other side, you actually have a swim up bar right there. You've got another waterfall grotto over in the distance and a ton of seating over here if you wanna set up shop, sit and relax while the kids enjoy the water park. As we continue to head through the water park, you have these cabanas behind me. Those are first come, first serve, and you have quite a few more chairs, loungers, plenty of place to set up camp as you enjoy the water park. Now, as we head further in, I wanted to point out one of my favorite little features here. You've got sand there. You can even bring your sand toys. I saw kids and parents playing there as well. So you've got that little sandy area. You have more seating tucked away over here to the corner, and then set just in front of curls and swirls, you have this great water pad where the little kids can run through. Once again, kids of all ages are welcome here and kids of all ages are gonna absolutely love it here. They have things for the littlest ones all the way up to the big ones and well, the biggest and the ones who are young at heart. Another one of the dining options here at Beaches, Turks and Caicos is Curls and Swirls. This is one of their food truck carts uh, experiences that they have here. You can get milkshakes, frozen yogurts. My all time favorite is of course birthday cake because who doesn't love birthday cake? but they have all kinds of different options for you. And this is that perfect place on a nice warm and sunny day. Come over here, cool off, 
head back in that lazy river and enjoy your vacation. Now, one of our most requested features that they have here is a lazy river. You don't find that at very many all-inclusives and you very seldom find anything quite as good as this. They have entry points set throughout the entire water park area where you can get in and out. They've got the double tubes and the single tubes depending on what you're looking for. And what I like is you have a diversity of spaces as you wrap all the way around. You can see the different parts of the water park, what people are doing. You come underneath the nightclub even and there is the waterfalls. And I also like that there's a shaded area with some stadium style seating. So maybe mom, dad, grandma or grandpa who don't want to or can't get in, they can still sit, watch and enjoy being part of the Lazy River experience. Another fantastic feature here in the water park is the surf simulator. So you can work on your balance and surfing here in Turks and Caicos. It's absolutely a ton of fun. As you can see, they're having a blast behind me. Kids usually line up for this one. It's one of their all time favorites. And the better you get, the longer you go, the more fun that you get to have. Just a really cool thing to work on while you're on vacation and absolutely enjoy. Yeah. Awesome. It's crushing it. He gets back home. Those waves are gonna be nothing. Now we're in the very center of the water park right now, and this is the spot that I believe my daughter would go to absolutely first. You've got this pirate ship with four or five different kinds of slides right there. You've got water features, even the pirate lookout up there has a waterfall coming off of it. You've got some plunge areas, a little slide here, and I really like that they have seating all the way around this as well. So depending on the age of your kiddo, you may wanna set up here or a little bit further back. I love the continuity of the pirate theming. Of course, you're gonna have the pirate lookout, the Jolly Roger flag, and there's even some cannons if you wanna, well, have a little bit of a squirt gun fight. Now for the bigger kids, you have these three fantastic water slides. You've got a couple tube slides, and then of course, the blue racer slide as well. You can see why so many families love this, especially multi-generational families, groups, wedding parties, because once again, this is such a great feature to complement all of the pools, the incredible sandy beach, and the beautiful turquoise water out there. What better way to enjoy part of your day, at least, than going into the water park, floating in the lazy river, going surfing, having the little kids have a place to run around and have an incredible time. Now, a relatively new addition here from the dining standpoint is Mr. Mac. It's a food truck. I love that they have that, and I love that they specialize in one thing, my daughter's all-time favorite and one of mine that is macaroni and cheese so they have 10 different items all of them focus on mac and cheese you can get a mac and cheese cheeseburger mac and cheese buffalo chicken taco philly cheesesteak whatever it is my favorite of course is the deep fried macaroni and cheese balls but i love that they have this as an option because who doesn't like mac and cheese I know one of the things that my daughter absolutely loves is as we're wandering around the resort we run into some of our all-time favorite friends and of course well me and cookie Cookie. Mm. And guess what? We've got a few other friends too. Bert, Ernie, Elmo, the whole gang is here for a party. And guess what? They love the mac and cheese cart too, huh? Yeah? Yeah? All right. Thanks, guys. You guys rock. Uh, Grover's always bringing up. Well, anyway. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Always grumpy. Whatever. Located just inside the Jolly Roger pirate ship is Bobby D's, and I think every single resort in the world should have one of these. It's a fantastic space. So right here, you've got an ice cream shop. You can have that fantastic banana split, once again, all included. They've got a great variety of ice creams, milkshakes, frozen yogurts, things like that. And as you continue on in, you can see the space opens up right here. They have a nice little kids area tucked away. They're gonna use this for the kids club, coming and dining, but of course kids can dine there if you're dining in the space. And as you continue on through, you get into the 50s style diner. I absolutely love this space. Very reminiscent of a 50s uh, mom and pop soda, soda fountain kind of shop. You've got all the classics, the burgers, the chili cheese dogs, all of those kind of things. But the coolest thing about this particular space is that it's open from 11 a.m. until 6 a.m. in the morning. So one in the morning, you want a cheeseburger? This is your spot. You want some ice cream, popcorn, snacks? Absolutely, and of course, like every restaurant here on site, the space is fantastic, but it's the people that make it have a lot of fun with the staff in here. And then finally, you've got the soda machine in the corner, and they even have a cotton candy maker, which huh, I'm gonna enjoy in a minute. Now we're inside Port Royal, which is actually an indoor-outdoor space. This is for kids of all ages. They're gonna have foosball, ping pong, pool, 
air hockey. They always have some TVs on there. They do activities here throughout the day as well, including their Game Squad games, where you can play all kinds of interactive games, once again, for every age group and member of the family. One thing that I think is really cool is that in addition to all of these, they even have the air hockey and some of the games for the smaller kids. I know my daughter, niece, and nephew would love it in here. They even have hammocks all throughout this place. Seriously, every single time. Gosh. Located just off the side of the water park, you're gonna find the Shadow Lounge. This is for teens and tweens. It's just a place to hang out and relax. They have several different spaces throughout the entire resort for that. So you've got a couple pool tables in here, one of my all-time favorites, of course, air hockey, foosball over in the corner, a couple places to sit and chill, and then ping pong. Once again, this is that place to sit and relax and enjoy, and then they're gonna have different programming throughout the day. Another awesome space for every member of the family is the Xbox Lounge. Beaches has a partnership with Xbox, and all around this space, it's absolutely huge. They have every kind of game that you can imagine. You see you have all of these small TVs. They've got some bigger ones spread out, Back here, they actually have the Xbox Connects with a lot of space to spread out. Maybe you want to do a dance competition with your friends or family. Keep in mind, this is for those who are young and, once again, young at heart. So anybody can come in here and enjoy. And it's usually open just about all of the day and into the evening. So just behind me is Camp Sesame. This is for the kids from zero up to four and a half. But throughout the resort, you're gonna see all kinds of spaces dedicated to them. Of course, they're not limited to here. This has an incredible nursery, play area, activity rooms. They even have their own pool for the little kiddos. And for kids of all ages, they also take them off-site here and explore the incredible resort. You might see them dining over at Dino's. They may take them over to one of the pools as well. But they do an amazing job with kids. They have a great relationship with Sesame Street. They've had that co-branding for a very long time now. And what I like is Sesame Street is dedicated to learning, and they're also dedicated to acceptance for every single child. And they take that to heart here. And I know that we've had people come here when their kids are very tiny from six months old, you know, two, three, and they come back year after year because the kids love the experiences. They can grow with it and they can take advantage of every single space on this amazing resort. Now there is a Camp Sesame here in the Caribbean village. There's also one over in Key West. Let me take you inside and show you what this is all about. So as soon as you enter the doors here, you're gonna have your check-in desk. As soon as you arrive here on the property, you can come over, get everything all set up for the kids. And of course, if you're in the Butler Villa level, they're gonna take care of that for you as well. But as soon as you get here, you're gonna check in. And this is divided up into different age groups. And something really, really unique here on site is that they can take the littlest of kids. Oftentimes, the very smallest ones, just a few months old, they'll use the Camp Sesame over in Key West because it's a little bit quieter, but of course, they can accommodate them here as well. They do change diapers, feed them, and they can take care of them throughout the day and even provide nanny services into the evening as well if you would like. Let me show you the first space. As we head on in, I just wanted to point out that they do have strollers and wagons for rent. If you don't want to bring one with you, you can take advantage of these here. Now through this space, you're gonna find the, the spot for infants and the nap room. So you can see they've got this set up for the tiniest of kiddos. I love that they have that here because once again, so many places start at three or four and up. Here, you can bring any kid and they're gonna have a great time. So you've got the little ball pit area here, different kind of stuffed animals. And then you see they have the full nap area. They also have stations back here where the kids can sit and rock to sleep. What always blows my mind is how amazing they are with the little ones. You walk in here, I know when my daughter was tiny, they have all of them down for a nap and frankly, it's a skill I wish I had. Now my background is as an educator. I was a middle school teacher for 10 years and something that I really, really take to heart and appreciate about beaches is that they are committed to making sure that every single child is cared for and that every child can have an incredible experience. Of course, they have that amazing partnership with Sesame Street, but I wanted to point out that they go out of their way to make sure and include Julia, who's one of the Sesame Street puppets that's on the spectrum, to make sure that every child feels included. And you can see up here that they are a certified autism center, and they make sure that every one of their staff members is fully trained in that. Now, of course, every single kid naps at different times and all of that, so they have these nice little spaces set up throughout. Maybe there's nap time going on back there. Some kids are sitting here watching TV, and of course, all of the 
furniture, and then, of course, more of the Sesame Street characters are here to play with them. Now, this room is for the one to two and a half year olds, and you can see they always ask people to take their shoes off when they come in. Once again, part of that commitment to every single child. You can see here they have the different chairs and loungers set up for movie time. You also have the tables with the small chairs all throughout, a ton of different toys, and the continuation of that Sesame Street partnership. They do the letter of the day. They do all of those different things so that not only is your kid here having a good time, but they're also learning and growing as you go. At beaches, it's very, very common to see a kid who's been here at six months old, come back again at two, three, four, all the way through their teen years. And some of our friends, this is the place where they come back every single year because they have figured out exactly how to handle their kids' needs and they do a great job with it. You see, you have another one of the ball pits. You have all of these different little scooters. And as you know, if one kid wants one, usually they all do as well. So they have a lot of redundancy in here. See the count over there in the corner, changing station, because like I mentioned, unlike a lot of other resorts, they will change the kids and they also will feed them. Now we're gonna explore the other wing of Camp Sesame. I did wanna point out that even the bathrooms are set up perfectly for the little ones. I know when my daughter was potty training, having something that was her size, really easy to access, made a huge difference. Now you see here they have another play area. Once again, they have lots of different separate areas for different kids doing different things so that each member of the family can be accommodated. Now we're in the first of two spaces dedicated to the three and four and a half year olds. So this particular room is the playroom. You can see they have a ton of toys. They've got the big Lego blocks, more of all our Sesame Street friends. You can see they have small tables here and chairs, perfect for arts and crafts. They're gonna have something for them to do every single hour that they're open here. And then once again, they can continue that on even into the room with their nannies. Now let me head into the activity room, the second space devoted to them. You can see here they have it set up for a little tea party. Of course, they're gonna eat in here. They'll have snack time. They have a little puppet studio over in the corner. They have a stage up here as well. But what's so cool about that partnership with Sesame Street is they have the characters that will be here in the room for the kids to play with and enjoy. They also put on a show. They'll do the letter of the day and things like that. But their friends are also gonna be all around the resort. So you may be sitting at the pool or the beach or somewhere else, and then you can check out the Sesame Street characters. It's so cool, and you see the kids' eyes light up when they see them. They also have a special character breakfast as well, if that's something you're interested in. I absolutely love the outdoor space here. They have the own pool just for the kids right here, a large shade structure set up over it. And look at these lounge chairs. I mean, how cool is that? They're tiny, they're for the littler kids, and of course they have their own umbrellas where they can sit and lounge just like the adults. They really do take care to make sure that every age group, every member of the family or group is taken care of. You can see in the distance there, they have the shower for the kids to shower off on. Once again, smaller in size for them. They have this picnic area right here where they can eat outside. And once again, it's under a shade structure, which I think is great. And finally, to wrap it up outside here, they even have their own beach area. So this is all sand from the beach. They got a little bit of table, playhouse, and then of course, more of those super cute loungers. Any little kid is going to love this. Tucked just behind Camp Sesame, you're gonna find this kids play area. They've got a great rock climbing wall here. There's a couple of them actually. The small tables and chairs spread throughout. They also have the playground set. Who doesn't like a teeter-totter over there? And then of course, my daughter's all time favorite, the swings. And I, what I like about this area is they do use it with the kids club. But in addition to that, you can stop by here anytime with your kids. They can have a great time, head on back down to the pool or the beach, wherever it is that you wanna explore. They also have a throne big enough for me and Big Bird, but uh, somebody's always there. So now we're getting ready to head into the Caribbean village. You can see behind me, they've got some hammocks and tables and chairs and everything. But inside there, they have an incredible pool complex, bars, restaurants, and then once again, the amazing beach. Follow along, let me show you what it's all about. Set just in front of the Caribbean Village lobby, you're gonna find the Iguanas Pool. It's a really, really nice pool area. It's one of the classics here on the resort. A lot of our guests that have been coming back for years say this is their favorite. You can see you have all of the loungers all throughout. You've got the beautiful waterfall feature. And just behind it, you're actually gonna find the Iguanas Swim Up Bar. So it's a swim up bar and a step up bar as well. And what I like about this particular pool is with Bella Napoli Pizzeria right behind it, you actually can have food, drink, never leave the space if you want. Now, if you're staying in the seaside or the Caribbean villages, you're just a few steps away from your room as well. And if you wanna see some of those rooms, they're absolutely incredible, the newly renovated ones, we have those room tours for you. 
So all around this space, you're gonna have these really soft, comfortable loungers. You have the really nice umbrellas as well. And then once again, you have extra seating just behind. So you've got some chairs there, the seating for Bella Napoli. You can sit, play a game with the family, relax and just enjoy. Set on the far side of the Caribbean and seaside villages, you're gonna find the main pool here for the oldest part of the resort. And what I love about this is it's such a classic beaches pool. You got the big beaches logo down in the bottom, the fun Fetty kind of colors everywhere. Beautiful waterfall feature. I love the swim through grotto. You can actually swim right underneath there, get a little water on your back. And then as you look at the full pool area, there are a ton of loungers here. They're all those overstuffed, really comfortable loungers. You have the umbrellas and then set all the way around this pool are these butler cabanas. Now, of course, you can see those butler level rooms in our tours, but what I wanted to point out is that this is such a fantastic upgraded experience, especially for a family or a honeymoon couple, because you have your own space. Your butler is gonna provide for all of your needs throughout the stay here. You've got your loungers, table and chairs. You can dine right here in your own cabana. You've got the chair. They even have these really nice Yeti coolers in there. They're gonna stock them exactly as you would like throughout the day. Now, as we continue around to the other side, you can see the structure in the distance. That's one of those classic sandals and beaches towers there. You've got the restaurant set just to the side, but I like that they have the small bridge coming over. And in the far side of it, you're gonna find the swim up bar. Now this pool usually is more active. I always call it the fun pool. You're oftentimes gonna see kids and adults in here. And with that swim up bar and walk up bar on the other side, you can really enjoy a cocktail and the incredible beach views in the distance. So this pool to me is a happy medium of everything for everyone. And well, I think I'm gonna grab one of these loungers here in just a second. Tucked just inside the pool area here, you're gonna see you have this beautiful waterfall and there's actually some outdoor seating. One of our favorite secret spots is tucked just around the corner. You can dine with the waterfalls on both sides. And then as you head on in, we're gonna head into Arizona's Southwest Cuisine. Set right on the beach, you'll find Arizona's Southwestern Cuisine. So this is a lunch and dinner restaurant. At lunch, they set up all of these great buffet stations. They've got cooked to order. They also have a great Mediterranean grill on the other side there. You can have euros and falafel. It's kind of a, a mix during the day. You of course can sit and order from the menu as well. And then in the evening, this goes away and you have this beautiful space here. So you have a ton of outdoor seating. You also have indoor seating as well. It's pretty expansive. It's one of the larger restaurants over here. At night, you can get those steaks and ribs and all the kind of things that you would love from Southwest Cuisine. In addition to the full restaurant concept, they also have a great bar and lounge. So in here, you see they've got lounge chairs, seats, and benches. They also have a full bar, of course, and all of this is wrapped around the pool. So you've got the, the swim up bar as well that is a continuation of the inside bar. One of my favorite spots on the resort is the Jerk Shack. I absolutely, wait, what'd you call me? No, just do it now. Okay. This is where you're going to find jerk chicken, jerk pork, all kinds of Caribbean specialties. And what I like about it is it's all outdoor. And look at this view. It's an unbelievable view. We have a relatively small menu, but I have to say yesterday they absolutely did it to perfection. And then of course you have to have the bar as well. So the rum bar is just behind me. They have several signature drinks here, including one of my all-time favorites, a painkiller. But uh, well, frankly, there's been no pain. It's all been an incredible experience to this point. And well, I see something calling to me in the distance. Yep, that's my hammock. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, good night. Mm. At the far side of the resort, you'll find two sand volleyball courts. There's games going every single day. Taylor was channeling his inner Karch Karai, but of course, it's pretty easy for me to block, I'm not gonna lie. But as you look down, what better place to play than this beautiful setting, continuation of the beach bar here and the restaurant. You even see they've got some kids swings, perfect place to enjoy paradise. So now we're at the far side of the resort. Once again, an incredible beach. You can walk quite a bit of distance in either direction. And one of my favorite features here is that just down the beach there, there's an area that's cordoned off. It's called Coral Gardens. It's one of the best places to snorkel on the entire island. You can grab the complimentary snorkel gear, head on down. We've seen lots of people going back and forth throughout our stay here and get some of the most beautiful snorkeling and underwater scenery anywhere in the Caribbean.
So nestled just between the edge of the resort rooms and villas and the jerk shack, you have this huge outdoor space that they use for a barbecue party every single week. It's one of my favorite things here that they do on site. It is a huge, massive feast. Of course, the smells, the barbecue, all of that adds to the ambiance. You see they have all of this seating all the way around. You have a full stage up there where they're gonna put on a, a show. It's one of several stages that they have here where they do outdoor entertainment on site. You can see they have the lights and the speakers. And then once again, you can see the jerk shack tucked just behind me. But I highly recommend when you stay here at the resort that you definitely come and check the beach barbecue out. You're gonna love it. All around the resorts, you're gonna find beautiful spaces like this. During the day, first come, first serve. You can imagine sitting there in those comfy loungers looking out at the incredible view. They also use it for private romantic dinners. You have a spa treatment there as well, but just another one of those fantastic spaces where you take in this incredible view and amazing beach. Continuing along, you have what I think is the most Instagrammable spot of the entire resort, this beautiful swing. Oh, and then another fantastic gazebo and space where you can optimize this incredible view. May never leave. You can see that incredible blue turquoise water behind me, that white sandy beach, and you can see immediately why this is one of our most popular wedding resorts in the entire Caribbean. Now, Sandals and Beaches includes more than anybody else in this space. You're gonna have a complimentary wedding and reception starting at just three room nights. If you stay for seven, it increases. And then as more people decide to join, you get even more included with your wedding. But what I love about this particular resort is there's nine different spots around the, the resort to get married. This is just one. You can see they have the chairs set up here for us. And you can imagine if your dream is to have your toes in that beautiful white sand as you get married, the waves sounding in the distance and that beautiful water, this is the perfect spot for you. They have wedding gazebos throughout, all, both on the grass areas and on the beach. And you also are going to be able to basically customize your reception wherever it is that you want throughout the resort. Now, as we mentioned, you can have your reception just about any place on this incredible resort. This is just one of many. You can see, of course, you have the beautiful turquoise water in the distance. You've got the gazebos. Those can be set up for smaller receptions and any of the lawn areas can be set up for a larger reception. Let me show you a few of the examples that they have set up here for us. Now, keep in mind, you customize exactly as you like. It's your color scheme. It's your wedding. It's your dream come true. You can see here, you have an all white setup. You've got the flowers all the way around. You can see they have all of the different china and silver set up for you. So if you want that beautiful white wedding, this could be that perfect choice for you. Now here's another beautiful setup. Now remember you're in the tropics and if you want those beautiful tropical colors, this is another option. But once again, what Beaches is all about is figuring out what you personally want. They collaborate with us and we help plan that beautiful wedding of a lifetime for you. So now we're down on the beach in front of the Caribbean and seaside villages, and this is what made this resort absolutely famous. This incredible water, you can hear the gentle lapping, there's kids and families swimming out there, and of course snorkeling and all of that. But what I love about this space is you have all of these open areas where you can sit. They have the loungers with shade. Of course, you can pop those down if you want the sun. They also have the umbrellas as well. But this is just, it's hard to describe unless you're here. It's absolutely breathtaking and stunning. You can see where they have all the water sports out there, the catamaran, the boats for all of those included activities. This spot is also a perfect spot if you want that beautiful beachside wedding. You've got the gazebo here right behind me. Of course, they clear all that out. You've got the sand and nothing but that in the distance. What better way to start your marriage? So another fantastic adults only space here is this jacuzzi set right on the beach. So you've got some lounge chairs all the way around. Great place to relax. Once again, adults only. So you have that balance there. So you've got a really large jacuzzi, but what this is all about is sitting here and checking out the beautiful ocean. And one interesting thing about this space is it can also be used for weddings or a wedding reception. They can cover that right up. And then you can imagine having dinner here after you get married and well, that view. Now in doing a wedding or a vow renewal, everybody wants something different. It should be exactly what you prefer. This is another one of the gazebos, a fantastic option if you want more of the gardens. But even from here, you can see the beautiful ocean in the background. And there's another larger gazebo back there as well. So there's plenty of spots. Weddings are incredibly popular here because you can invite every single member of the family. So if you're like me, you may be wondering what these are all around the resort. They've done a major investment in Wi-Fi infrastructure. So these are actually Wi-Fi hotspots. You'll even find them down on the beach as well. You have complimentary internet throughout the entire space, and they do have a premium upgrade for those who need that higher speed. Tucked just behind the pool bar, you'll find Bella Napoli. 
This is a pizza restaurant. It's open during the day. It's all they do here. They have a fantastic brick oven pizza maker right back there. And you can see it's spread out. It's not a huge space. A lot of people will grab and go and take it over by the pool, or you can sit here and enjoy. This beautiful space is schooners. Of course, schooners were the fast boats that kind of discovered and settled this area. And what you're gonna find here is this beautiful colonial style building. They've got a small indoor area, but what this is all about is these huge outdoor patios. So you're gonna have breakfast here in the morning. You've got all the classics that you would expect. Also some Caribbean flair as well. And then in the evening, this turns into a seafood restaurant. Fantastic scallops and swordfish, tuna. They even have a really, really good ribeye steak as well. They always have that balance, a little bit of something for everyone. As you can see, this is just one of the two large outdoor wings. It heads all the way back. You've got the fans, the beautiful breeze, and then all the way wrapped around the other side as well, one of these large colonial porches that wraps all the way around. A little more seating down in front, but this is a huge restaurant. The ambiance is absolutely spectacular at night. You can hear the waves in the distance, and I'm ready for another meal here. Set between Camp Sesame and the Iguana's Pool, you're gonna find the Activity Hut. Now they have all of the outdoor activities that you would expect. You can borrow them or check them out. It's all complimentary. Footballs, basketballs, soccer balls. They even have croquet, cornhole, shuffleboard, one of the all-time classics. But in addition to that, they also have a wide variety of board games. You've got Battleship, Checkers, Chess, Taboo, Yahtzee, Scrabble, all of those. You can borrow them, check them out play in your room, bring them back. And in those kids' rooms, what I love is that they have a special activity board just for them. So you can check those out, have a great time in your room, bring them back and trade it out for another one. Now over here, I just wanted to point out that they have throughout the resort, you can also see this on the TV as well, but they have all of the different themes that are gonna be going on, the different party theme nights. Of course, they have the two outdoor show venues. They're gonna tell you what's going on there. And then the full kids club program with all the Sesame Street characters, like Amazing Art with Julia, one of our favorite, but my all time favorite, of course, is Cooking with Cookie Monster. Hmm. I'm ready for another one of those chocolate chip cookies. It was pretty amazing. And then over here, they've got a little bit more information on movie night. There is something to do every hour of the day here at Beaches. Another fan favorite, of course, is shuffleboard. They've got a couple courts here. And all throughout the resort, you're gonna find basketball courts, shuffleboard, tennis. Check it out as we explore a few more. So when traveling with my family growing up, we always used to love to play sports. My dad was a high school basketball coach. My brother and I both played for him. So let's see, still got it here. Nothing but net. All right, I got this. Ooh. Gosh. Ah! Every time. That was a lot of fun. Continuing our ongoing battle, the most cerebral of games. Mm-hmm. Dang it! every time. So now we're in the Caribbean Village Lobby. This is where it all started. This is the original part of the resort. When you stay here, you're, they're gonna pull you right up. Of course, the taxis can go right up to the front, and then they're gonna head you right over to check on in. They've got these nice seating areas. You can sit, relax, and they're gonna take care of all the check-in needs. Now, this is the central hub for the Caribbean Village. Everything flows out from here all the way down to the beach. Inside here, just like several of the other lobbies as well, there's a couple very important things. The first one is Island Routes, which is the, the tour company. Of course, we're gonna take care of all of those details for you before you go. We highly recommend that you work with us. We'll provide those concierge services to get it set. And then continuing along, you'll find the loyalty and travel desk. This is where you can rebook while you're on site. There's usually a pretty good discount that they'll offer as well. And then you just let us know when you get back and we'll take care of all those details for you as well. Now, the very last space that I wanted to point out that has become very important, especially over the last few years, is the culinary concierge. So if you have any special dietary needs, they're gonna take care of them for you. You can set up a time as soon as you get here, talk through all the details, and they're gonna handle those. Now keep in mind, if you do have one of the butler level suites, and there's some fantastic ones here in the village itself, you're gonna have your butler to take care of all those needs as well. And once again, we'll get everything set before you go. And when you arrive, all you have to do is sit back and enjoy paradise. So we're just inside Reflections. This is the breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet here in the Caribbean Village, and there's quite a bit of seating. So just for point of reference, the lobby is just in front of me. You've got all kinds of indoor seating here. They have a beautiful 
skylight up, up above so you can get a ton of light in there. You've got seating on the far side, you've got your coffee maker, and then of course a lounge. But this particular space is all about the dining. You've got indoor dining here, two tops, four tops, six. Of course, they can put it together for bigger groups. You have the full buffet over there. There's a couple buffet lines, including the kids' corner, a really nice touch just for them and also at their level. And then as you continue along, you have seating indoors, and you also have some great outdoor seating as well with fans, which I am a big fan of. This beautiful space is Sopa Dia's restaurant. It's a Caribbean fusion type restaurant. If you wanna get your lobster fix, of course they have dishes from all over the Caribbean, but this space itself is adults only. So it's a nice upgraded dining experience. You see that they have tables for two, four, they can put them together for more. And then you also have a great outdoor seating as well. What I love about this is it's another one of those spaces where adults can get away, have that peace and quiet and really enjoy dinner. And they have a fantastic menu as well. Now we're just inside Turtles Bar. This is an adults only venue, another one of the ones that they have throughout the resort area. It's a really nice large bar setting. You've got different kinds of seating. You've got some couches and lounge seating. You also have, of course, the bar and then the high top tables. And another great thing is that they also have an outdoor area. So if you yourself are a fan of turtles out in the ocean or the turtles, you also can be happy together enjoying this incredible bar the TVs, they always have sports on there, but a nice little escape for adults. I'm currently inside the concierge lounge here in the Caribbean Village. Now, anybody staying in the resort that is concierge service can access this. They're gonna do all kinds of things for you, such as book the glass bottom boat, the complimentary experiences, the restaurants, and things along those lines. They can answer all of your questions. And if you're a concierge guest in the Caribbean Village, you're actually gonna be checked in right here. They're gonna ask you your preferences for wine. They also have a large variety of included alcohols, and you can upgrade as well if you're in concierge. Now, if you're in that butler suite, things like this would be complimentary and included, or you can just go to any bar in the entire place, and they're gonna include those as well. But what I love about this particular space is it's just really nice. The, the people are absolutely fantastic. They're hilarious actually as well. And they're gonna take care of every one of your needs. Now keep in mind, if you're in the Italian village or Key West village, all of the rooms are concierge or higher. Now, if you have that butler experience, once again, they're gonna whisk you right past this and they're gonna actually check you in in your room and your butler's gonna have your back and take care of everything you need from start to finish. So in addition to all of the kids club activities, and quite a few of them do include arts and crafts, things around the resort, they also have this upgraded experience with creative crafts. As you can see here, they have all kinds of different choices to choose from. You of course can paint those Sesame Street characters if you want, always a lot of fun for every single member of the family. And you also can do basically anything you want. So if you wanna get creative, this is available throughout the day and a really great touch. Located in the Caribbean Village, you do have several shops like you do throughout the entire resort. You've got the boutique just over there to my left. You also have the resort shop. This is where you can find all kinds of different things, maybe some sundries or items that you left behind, or if you wanna get that new bathing suit or just have a little retail therapy, this is perfect for that. Now we're getting ready to head into the Key West Village of the resort. You can see the beautiful lobby set behind me. It's a little bit different than every other part of the resort. Every single room and suite is either concierge or butler. It's an absolutely beautiful space. Follow me along. So now we're in the lobby of the Key West Village. This is a really beautiful space. It's been renovated. You can see you've got the check-in over there to the side. You've got all kinds of different seating arrangements. You've got couches, chairs, perfect place to sit when you're waiting to check in, or maybe you're waiting for that golf cart to go explore the rest of the resort. You see there's even more extended seating over here, couches, chairs all the way around, and then wrapped just around outside is one of my favorite features. They have an espresso maker. You can self-service. You can go utilize it anytime you like. Just past the beautiful open air lobby, you're gonna find this large courtyard area. I love that they have this beautiful fountain. It's actually even more stunning at night. This entire area is called the Veranda House Complex. Just beyond it, there's a little more of the Veranda House. You would have another beautiful courtyard area with another large fountain. Now this entire area is made up of just concierge and butler suites and villas. These are more the rooms, the one and two bedrooms up here. And then as you move further into Key West, you're gonna find two, three, all the way up to four bedrooms and even some unbelievable four bedroom villa residences that are right on the beach with their own pool, patio and restaurant. This part of the resort is set up a little bit differently than the rest. And I love that each one has a different vibe. You can see that you definitely get that South Florida Key West look. 
set just on the beach of the Key West Village. You're gonna find the three restaurant complex here, which is Bayside, just behind me, Sky Up Above, and Neptune set right down on the beach. Let me show you what they're all about. Set on the ground floor, you're gonna find Bayside. Bayside is the international restaurant. They have flavors from all over the world. Mexico, Spain, really enjoyed the paella. But you get a different fusion for dinner. It's also an a la carte breakfast restaurant, and throughout the day, they'll have snacks. But what's so great about this particular spot is the large, beautiful veranda looking out at the ocean. And it's also set next to one of the pools just over to the side. But once again, breakfast and dinner every single day and snacks throughout the day. Just above Bayside is Sky. This is one of the signature restaurants here on site. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, you're set on the rooftop and have this incredible panoramic view of the beach, the beautiful turquoise water. Now this particular restaurant is a dinner only restaurant and it's an Italian and seafood fusion. So you have some great Italian dishes on there, seafood, steaks. In fact, Taylor last night had the filet mignon and the short ribs. I had some of the seafood options, scallops, halibut, and maybe some of the steak options as well too. A couple important things to note for this particular restaurant, like I said, it's dinner only. They only have stairs getting up here. There's not an elevator for those of you who that makes a difference for. And finally, I absolutely love the open kitchen concept. We got to see the chefs cooking and they of course came around, checked on us, really impressed with the service here. Nestled just on the beach, you'll find Neptune's seafood. What's up dog? As you head on in, what you can see is that you have an incredible setting. The whole concept here is Mediterranean seafood. The idea is that you're at a restaurant on the beautiful Amalfi Coast in Italy. You have a wide variety of seafood options. Of course, there's quite a few others as well. You've got some Italian dishes. This is open for lunch and dinner. And one of the things that I like here, as with other restaurants as well, is they have a great kids menu as well. So you have a wide variety of options for every member of the family. Right in front of Bayside, you'll find this lounge area. They've got great seating arrangements. You've got couch, chairs for one as well. So a lot of people sitting out here relaxing either before or after dinner. And as we continue along, you can see that you have a beautiful fire pit as well. The beach, of course, is just behind us. You've got those day beds and umbrellas. And as you wrap all the way around, you finish up at the beautiful pool complex here. Now, this isn't the only pool in Key West, but it's a beautiful option. And you've got the loungers all around. I always find that this is a bit quieter and more relaxing than some of the other pools spread out throughout the property. On the far side of the pool, you'll see you have two showers here, really nice, large rainforest shower heads. So you can rinse off before you get in the pool and then of course get out. And you can also head down to the beach and head up this way as well. Now, I really like this pool. You've got a narrow shelf going in, so it's a really easy walk in, and then it gradually goes a little bit deeper. You've got the beautiful waterfall set just below the Bayside restaurant. In addition to the classic spots right on the beach, you also have these beautiful areas around the resort where they can set up a private meal, either for two, for a family, or for a group. In fact, right here last night, they had a great meal set up. It was really beautiful. Family looked like they were having an incredible time. Little extra privacy and seclusion. Now keep in mind, you wanna book those ahead of time. We can help you with all of those details, all the concierge services, getting them all set up because oftentimes they do sell out when you're here or by the time you get here. Keep in mind, that's something that we do that we can take care of on your behalf. Between the beach and the pool, you're gonna find these incredible hammocks. I love this because I can get the whole family on here, but for right now, time for a quick dad nap and I'll see you in a minute. Hmm. In front of the Key West Village, you have an extension of this amazing beach. Now keep in mind that this is a public beach. You can walk a huge distance. That's one of the allures of this particular one is it is so incredibly beautiful from any different angle. What I like here in front of Key West, once again, it's a quieter space. You have a ton of loungers with the umbrellas. You also have these great loungers with the canopy that goes over as well. But what this is all about is being able to walk out into that incredible turquoise water. It's nice and warm. Ugh, I don't know if I'll ever go back. Set just on the beach of the Key West Village, you're gonna find these incredible villas. They have some of the most amazing villas I've seen anywhere on any property in the world, especially if you're traveling with a family or a multi-generational group. Right here behind me, you've got a private pool set just behind the foliage there. You have your own private balcony area, veranda with a really nice large table. And of course, these are all butler suites, so you can have just about anything you want anytime, and they do an amazing job with service. Some of these are up to four bedrooms, truly, truly a magnificent castle right here on the beach. 
tucked into one of the courtyards here in the Key West Village, you have this beautiful pool. Now, something that's very different about this particular part of the resort is that you have several pools in this village, but they're a lot smaller. So in addition to the oceanfront and the adults only pool, you have this beautiful pool as well. Once again, it's generally on the quieter side. You've got the beautiful loungers all the way around. It's a great little waterfall feature. And then you have a narrow shelf coming in. So that's perfect to sit. if You wanna just put your feet in the water, or of course, as you're slowly getting in, can really enjoy that experience. In Key West Village, you're gonna find this adults only pool. It's an absolutely beautiful space. I love all of the landscaping. It's very mature. You have the beautiful hibiscus. You also have the bamboo, and then of course the bougainvillea like you have throughout. But right here, what it's all about is that quiet, relaxing space. Of course, the resort is a family friendly. In fact, it's a family focused resort. You get a lot of multi-generational groups, weddings, things along those lines. And what's so great about spaces like this is that you have a little bit of the adults only experience, just like having other spots around the resort, including restaurants and hot tubs and things that are just for adults. So you can kind of merge the best of both worlds together. Those who want that adults only experience and those of course, who wanna go play on the water slides like me. All throughout the Key West Village, you have different areas like this, beautiful green open spaces. Now this particular one, you can check out croquet equipment. You can set it up here to play croquet. Maybe you wanna play a little frisbee or football. You also have a game of chess. You can set it up for checkers as well. But just a diversity of options is what makes this so unique. Also in the Key West Village, you're gonna find a tennis court, perfect for tennis or a game of pickleball. Taylor used to play some tennis back in the day. I played at it. Let's see what we got here. Got to channel my inner Pete Sampras. <laughs> Great form. Pretty standard. So this space is the Camp Sesame in Key West. There's a couple different spaces. They have a nap room in the separate area just over to my right. And in here, you've got a full service kids zone. You got a small kitchenette in the corner. You've got the bathrooms that are perfect size for the kids. And right now it's actually set up for the zero to 12 months old, but they mix and match depending on the needs of who's staying at the resort, how many kids, different times of year. But what we've always found is this is a little bit quieter. There's usually less kids over here because this is the far side of the resort and a lot more take advantage of the Camp Sesame in the Caribbean village. But what you'll see here is a continuation of what they have over there. The incredible partnership with Sesame Street where you're learning in addition to having fun. You can see they have all of the little rockers where the kids can sit, rock and uh, well, take a nap of course, or they can play in the ball pit there. You've got the little play toys over to the side. And then over here, they have a ton of puppets. One of the things they do, of course, in that partnership with Sesame Street is all the different puppets and there's a learning experience tied to each. But what really makes a kid's club, it's not the spaces, it's the people. And what we find is that our customers who come here love it so much that they come back year after year. In fact, I was just talking to a family who's been here seven years in a row. They have a child who's on the spectrum and his needs have been met perfectly here from a young age all the way through, which means that every member of the family is happy, his brothers, sisters, mom and dad, and begs to come back here every single year. But the people that work here, like I said, make all the difference. What you see is when you come back, their eyes light up, the kids' eyes light up. They're so happy that you're here. They're so happy that they work here. It's such an incredible experience. So depending on which age groups they have over here at different times, you see they have a great outdoor space as well, kind of a jungle gym. You've got a rock climbing wall. You've got a ladder in the back there. You see over here, you've got a couple swings. Of course, the slide and some more climbing over in the corner. I also like that they have sand over here, so it's like a giant sandbox. You can play in that sense as well. Now we've made our way to the French Village. Now keep in mind, this is the only one that's not right on the beach front. It's set a little bit back, but it does have an incredible pool area, a large grass area for kids to run around. And a lot of our customers prefer this because it's a little bit quieter. Let me show you what it's all about. So now we're inside the courtyard of the French Village. All of the rooms are set completely around it in a large horseshoe fashion. What I love is there's a ton of grass out here. Kids can run around, have a great time, maybe play some Frisbee or football. And then on the other side in the front too, you have a large expansive grass area. Now throughout the space, you're gonna have hammocks set up. You also are gonna have fun games. They have all kinds of games. They had, well, the Sesame Street friends were over here just a little bit ago. Got a little bit of an ongoing game here. I think I've got this one. Mm. There we go. Dang it! Every time. 
set just in the middle of the French courtyard, you have this huge, beautiful pool area. I love that in the far distance, you've got that swim up bar. Every great all-inclusive pool needs one. There's also a walk up bar on the far side and some lounging space as well in the bar. And then as you look at the pool, you've got a small area for the littler kids. You also have a beach entrance so you can walk in slowly on the other side. And then a large jacuzzi hot tub in the middle that you can swim all the way around. You'll see that you have loungers and umbrellas set up throughout the space. You also have cabanas, so if you have one of the butler suites, you can actually have them set this up for you for the day. They're gonna provide all the drinks and service that you want. You just let them know what you want. It's a great home base, especially for a family group. Due to the fact this is set a little bit further back in the resort, this tends to be the quieter of the pools. Now keep in mind if you're staying in the French Village, all you have to do is let them know you want a golf cart. They'll take you anywhere in the entire resort. Set just to the side of the French Village pool, you'll find Giuseppe's. It's an Italian restaurant. It's actually open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They do both a la carte, and they have a buffet back there as well. There's a large amount of seating outside. You've got two, four, six, eight tops out there. Inside here, you have a variety of the tables. You also have these booths, and also some larger family booths over here to the left. One thing that I really like is that it's a really tall building and they have these beautiful skylights up there. So you get a great ambiance throughout the day. And then in the evening when they light up the chandeliers, it's really beautiful in here. So this space is Cafe de Paris. This opens up early in the morning and goes late into the evening. It's a coffee shop. You can see they have the beautiful Eiffel Tower on one side, the Arc de Triomphe on the other. And you've got a coffee maker back there, a couple different kinds. They can make you your cappuccino, cafe au lait if you want, or my favorite, the Americano. You also have all of these different pastry options. I find myself popping in here a lot to grab a cookie, but you've got different kinds of cakes and tarts. And then over here, you have an extension of it. Quite a few more things from the bakery. But this is the coffee shop option. You can take advantage for breakfast or throughout the day. So this beautiful space is Le Petit Chateau. It's a dinner restaurant that is French themed. It's where you're gonna find French fine dining. You can see from the beautiful decor, very provincial. They've got the signage on the side, paying tribute to the Cannes Film Festival, Galleries Lafayette, the famous shopping in Paris. And as you walk in, you get that immediate feel that you're in France. And that's what this is all about, that nice fine dining experience where you can put together the best of the Caribbean with French food. So they have both indoor and outdoor seating. Inside here, you can see they have the booths, two, four tops, larger ones if you're gathering with a group and you're gonna love the food. It's really, really good. They have that escargot if you wanna give that a try. The sea scallops were excellent. And then of course their signature dish, chicken cordon bleu. Finishing it off with a creme brulee makes me pretty happy. Located in the middle of the French village, you'll see the open air theater. It's a really large space. They've got all the seating spread out here. They've got the lights and sound as you would expect. This is where they're gonna do a show just about every single night. They also do their Sesame Street shows here, which are a lot of fun for the little ones. And they're seating all throughout. In fact, you can even sit over here on the couches. That's my favorite spot to grab before the show starts. But as you can see, it continues all the way around a really large venue to take in a show in the evening. Just behind the French Village, you're gonna find the Beaches Tennis Club. It's a really nice size club for a resort this size. You've got four full-size tennis courts. They also set it up for pickleball and paddleball. We do get quite a few groups that request this that wanna come down and play tennis. Maybe they're members of a country club or a group that does that at home. I think it's a really nice touch. They'll provide the tennis balls. Of course, you're probably gonna bring your own rackets, but if you want to borrow, they have those as well for no additional fee. One other feature of these courts that I wanted to point out is that they are lighted. All of them have the full lights on the outside. Perfect to play into the evening. Oftentimes people enjoy the resort during the day, cools off in the evening a little bit more. You can come out here, play a little tennis or pickleball. Tucked in the middle of the resort, just in front of the French village, you're gonna find kimonos and soy. It's a dual restaurant concept. Kimonos is Japanese cuisine. Mostly it's hibachi and teppanyaki style, which I absolutely love. And I'll take you inside there in just a minute. Soy is the sushi bar, which we'll get to as well. But what I wanted to show you was this absolutely beautiful Japanese garden. This is actually one of my favorite spots on the resort, especially in the evenings to sit and have a cocktail. They do have a full bar over there at Soy where you can get a drink. But as you wander around, you see they have the beautiful bamboo fixtures all over. They have the really comfortable couches and chairs. So if you wanna sit here before you head into the restaurant, it's perfect for that. Or if you just wanna grab a cocktail and relax, the ambiance is absolutely beautiful. So now let's head into Kimonos. This place is gonna blow your mind. I've been to a lot of all-inclusive resorts, cruise ships, all kinds of things with teppanyaki tables. I have never been to one with 21 of them. So you can tell it's a very, very popular choice, especially for families. I know my daughter absolutely loves this experience. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
So this is the first of the three wings here. You can see it's a beautiful space. They've got these great chandeliers, beautiful marble countertops. But what it's all about is these teppanyaki tables. And what I love about this is it makes the meal interactive. It's so much more fun, especially when you're traveling with the family. And there's a lot of options here that every member of the family is gonna love. The lemon chicken was really good, but they have steak, shrimp, fish, chicken, all kinds of things that you can have here. And then of course the all-time favorite, fried rice. When you're looking at this space, this part has windows surrounding on all sides. And then as we head on into the main part, you can see they have a larger table here. In fact, they've got it set up just for us. See Buddha in the background, keeping an eye out, making sure I do it right. I think I've got this thing, right? All right, let's do it. Catch it. There we go. You see you've got the double there, so if you have a much larger party, you can put this together into one large family group. Maybe you're doing a wedding, something along those lines, you wanna get everybody together. And then as we continue along, you can see it absolutely massive. So in here, you have another seven tables right here. So you've got four along here, three more back there. Still, once again, beautiful decor. You get that Japanese feel. And then as we head into the main part, this is going to be the main bar. So it's not quite set up yet. It will be, we're here before it opens up. I do love that you have two restrooms right back there so you don't have to leave the restaurant to go to the restroom, especially great with families. As we continue along, you can see there's even more teppanyaki tables. So you have another five right here. The decor is absolutely beautiful. I love the beautiful blue glasses. You've got the large plates. But once again, this is all about that interactive experience. The chefs have a great time. And you can tell when you're somewhere, people are enjoying it. And not only the, the people who come here to eat, but the people that work here have an absolute blast. I also like about this part and the far part of the restaurant is you also have windows surrounded on all sides. And now just outside, we're going to see Soy Restaurant. Just outside Kimono's, you'll find Soy Restaurant. This is the sushi bar concept here on site. It's a really, really large amount of space for a sushi bar. It was really good last night. They have sushi, sashimi, all kinds of different rolls, edamame, the things that you would expect. And what I like about this particular space is you have a covered area over to my left. Inside there, you're gonna have the full bar. You have different kinds of seating, but they also have this huge open air outdoor area as well. You've got the umbrellas for when you have a little bit of sun in here. But as you can see, they've got an assortment of seating, two, four, six, eight tops. They can put those together. This is an awesome option for any sushi lover. So now we're headed into the spa and fitness complex here just in front of the French Village. Keep in mind, they have another one on the other side of the resort as well. So just to my left, you're gonna find the reception area. That's where you're gonna go check in. Maybe you wanna go and purchase your treatment. And you also on the opposite side, you're gonna have the salon. But I wanted to take you into this space because it's so incredibly unique. So as you see, as soon as you walk in here, you get that Japanese feeling. You've got the beautiful gazebo just in front of us. There's water everywhere flowing. And right up in front of me, you actually have a plunge. There's two plunge pools. So you've got one that's warmer and one that's colder. So it's that perfect combination. Now we're gonna actually head into the spa itself. It's divided into a men's and women's section with several of the treatment rooms in the middle of it. So follow me on in. Now we're just inside, and for point of reference, we came in the men's side. The women's is the exact same on the other side. As soon as we walk through, you've got the first of the treatment rooms. You've got your reception area right here where they're going to get you set. And then let's head on into the locker room. So right here, you've got a sauna and a steam room. You've got a toilet around the corner, and then you've got your shower here. When you come in, they're going to give you your slippers, robe, and you're going to have your own locker here to put your things away. Afterwards, they have everything that you would need if you need to shave, do your hair, those kind of things as well. Continuing along, you have more treatment rooms on either side. So there's one here, another one. You also have this small relaxation area. So this is where you're gonna go and sit, get ready for your treatment, get yourself in that nice Zen mindset. They've got fresh water and then they also have infused water and things along those lines. And then finally, I just wanted to take you inside one of the doubles treatment rooms. So there's plenty of single and doubles here. There's a shower inside, but what this is all about is having two beds so they can give a couple's massage for you. A perfect thing to do. Maybe the kids are at the kids club or you're here as a couple or on a honeymoon. This is an awesome option that they have. My all time favorite is the hot stone massage. Now this is a great spot to get a treatment, but if you're like me, my favorite spots are actually down at the beach. They have several different gazebos and even on the beach itself, they can set up those treatments for you. All you have to do is ask. So this is the full service salon. They do a lot of weddings here on site. So it's great that they have this. Of course, they can do manicures, pedicures, all of those types of things. But you also can get all of your hair treatments and have your hair done. 
They, one thing that I really like that's interesting and unique about this property is they have a full assortment of bridal packages and also those for grooms and both bridal and group parties so that you can get ready for that wedding. But if you're here with your family, multi-generational group, or you just wanna get a spa treatment or salon, this is that perfect spot. So just in here, you're gonna have two hair stations. And then as we head out, you've got all the rest of the salon stations right in front of me. So now we're just inside the fitness center, a place that I generally walk right past, but I thought I'd come on inside and show you what it's all about. So there's two fitness centers. This one is just in front of the French Village. There's another one over in the Key West Village as well. As we come in, you can see they have all the cardio in this main room. So you've got your ellipticals, your stair steppers, different kinds of bikes, and then of course a ton of treadmills over here in the corner. And then there's a wall partition here, and just on the other side, you're gonna find all of your free weights and different exercise machines. So right here, you've got the different benches and kind of the circuit machines all the way around. You do all the, the pull downs, get nice and, uh, no, no, never mind. But as we continue along, you can see you've got your ab machines right here. You've got all the fun for curls because, you know, that's what everybody likes to do, right? You've got your barbells. I love that they go all the way up to 100 pounds. I can look at those and uh, someday lift them. I mean, Taylor can, but anyway, not me. And finally, as you wrap up, you've got your leg press, Smith machine, and then a couple more of the circuit machines. It's great if you want to work out. Me personally, I'm heading out to the beach and going for a swim. Just outside the gym, you're gonna find the aerobic studio. I love that it's outside here. They've got the fans and the air that blows right through. So they're gonna do different kinds of classes here. Of course, you can come on your own if you would like. They've got all the equipment that you would need. Blocks over there for yoga. They've got your yoga mats, the different pads, all of the different size medicine balls. They even have the kettlebells and small barbells under here, including this jumping box. Ha! Ha! Made it, finally. Gosh, I've been trying that all week. So continuing along, they have, like I said, the different mats and pads. They've got a scale over in the corner. Stay away from that. And well, if you've got a little aggression, you can take it out right there. So just between the Caribbean Village and the French Village, you're gonna find the departure lounge. This is a nice little touch. They have a beautiful lounge inside, really comfortable sofas. There's somebody in there that'll take care of you, provide drink and such. You also have locker rooms just to the corner, but the purpose of this is when you check out, if you have a later flight, you can still take advantage of the resort. Maybe the kids want to go use the water park a little longer, but you can store your things here. And then as soon as you're ready to go to the airport, they're going to pick you up right here and head on home. I know that's one of the saddest parts of your stay here, but this is a really nice touch. So I'm currently in the conference center on the second floor of the Caribbean lobby. They also have another conference center in the Key West area. But what I love about this particular resort, maybe you're doing some continuing education for your staff, maybe you're celebrating some successes or doing an incentive trip, you can have all of your bases covered here. They have great audio visual technology here at the resort. And you can believe with 21 dining options, they can cater just about every type of event. So you can see this is currently set up in a classroom style. Of course, like all conference rooms, you have the partitions that they can separate it out if you need a smaller space or a larger space. But what I love so much about this is that every single member of the family can come along and have an incredible time. So maybe one person is in here doing some education. The kids can take advantage of that amazing water park, all the dining options, the pool, the spa. It's perfect for every member of the family. That's even more incredible for a rewards trip. So once again, you can see this is a classroom setting. They can put a cocktail party outside by the pool, any of the restaurants. You also can have the receptions inside here as well. So you can kind of have a great flow, cocktail reception, maybe some education. Then you have some dining options as well. You can get together with your company and just celebrate an incredible success. After touring this incredible resort, you can see why this is my family's and one of the most popular beach resorts in the entire world. This incredible beach, all of the inclusions that you have in here, and to make it perfect, make sure that you reach out to Hard Travel. As you can see, we have an amazing relationship with Beaches and Sandals. We know the space is inside and out, and we know that we can help craft the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, group, or wedding party at an incredible value. Man, I love filming, but I kinda like when we're done too. Might be here for a while. What do you think, Chad? <laughs>